Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Kumbi Case. I would really love if you subscribe if you haven't already. So today I'll be doing a review on my Louis Vuitton Zippy coin purse, I believe it's called. So I've only had this for, I would say roughly like nine months. I've had this. I wanted a smaller, more compact wallet that could also fit a lot of cards. I originally had a guess wallet and it was a rectangular one that was a bit too big for my liking and I kind of grew out of it and once I saw that Louis Vuitton had some wallets and particularly this wallet I immediately had to get it just because it's so small and compact so as usual Louis Vuitton has three prints in this so the Damier Azor and then they also have the monogram and the Damier Abin. I chose to go for the Damier Azor because I wanted to add a Damier Azor print in my collection. At the time I only had the monogram and the Damier Abin print so I wanted to add a Damier Azor into my collection just to see how I like it and I knew I wasn't going to use this a lot that is why I went for the Damier Azor because I know it does get dirty, obviously it's white, it is more prone to getting dirty quicker than the other prints. So because it does get dirty, I do have to kind of take extra care of it, I do have to clean it, I use uh, my stain remover for it and it does do the job. But yeah, just be mindful if you are going to get a Damier Azor in any kind of style just do keep in mind you do have to kind of make sure you clean it and it's it is a lot higher maintenance than the other prints so I did get this from a reseller as well you guys know this I've gotten most of my luxury goods from the resellers just because I can never find them on the website but I chose to buy this from a reseller and I actually got it from eBay. Now you do have to be careful when it comes to buying from resellers, especially on eBay and like Facebook market and whatnot. You do have to make sure that you do your research, you observe <laughs> and ask a lot of questions whether that be like how long they've had it. like when they purchased it also ask about the date code because that's when the actual product was manufactured ask for more photos if you can and make sure you really look into what you're buying and it's always good to buy from a seller that includes the receipt and the box and the bag because then if you do want to repurchase it in the future you can do so I personally like when it comes with the bag and the box and the receipt because then it just feels like you've just bought it from the store even if you haven't and you can always display it around your room whatever you want so it was actually during a bid and I managed to be the winner for the bid I got it for $350 or $375 around that range I was lucky enough to get it for such a good price because currently it does retail for $650 on the Australian website so don't be scared about getting items from resellers or from eBay from Facebook market don't be scared but just do your research and like I said ask a lot of questions make sure you see the photos make sure you see the wear and test make sure you see what you're getting yourself into and watch a lot of videos it is possible to get good quality luxury goods like from other resellers but again you do have to do your research I personally love getting items from resellers even though you do sometimes have to pay a higher price I think it can be convenient especially if the item is just way too popular and you can't get your hands on it and I, I find it useful especially if the person is local so if you can find someone who's local that's even better you can even meet up and like actually be able to see it physically i did that with my mini pochette i met up with the girl and i assessed everything she bought the bag the box everything 
so that's always the advantage of getting it from the reseller you can always meet up if you are local and quite personally going into the store is just very intimidating like the people the way that people look at you especially being black like it's just very intimidating and it's just very uncomfortable even walking in the store and just looking around it's very intimidating i'm sure some of you can relate Com comment down below i mean i wish i had a ca to be honest it would make my life a lot easier but like i said we don't all have that privilege so i just talk a little bit more about this little guy so how i use it is basically just one way I use it as a wallet I mean pretty self-explanatory I use it to carry all my cards my coins I managed to stuff a lot of cards in here just to demonstrate just how much it can carry but yeah I use it to carry my receipts cards vouchers that kind of thing um, you can definitely add a lot more in here it has a lot of room but obviously it's gonna bulge out a little bit but yeah it's such a cute simple vibe i absolutely love it like for me i honestly love mini bags like little mini wallets i just love that trend i know louis vuitton has more like of these square like wallets I think it's called the Victorine wallet it's kind of like a snap closure so I've just had a look on Louis Vuitton's website and they actually do have a wide range of compact wallets there's the Victorine wallet like I've said already there's the Rosalie wallet there is also the Zoe wallet and they all kind of like similar kind of design and those really appeal to me I think a more compact wallet is perfect if you don't like to carry too much or if you do already carry a lot and you don't want to make your bag even more heavy then a more compact wallet is perfect because then you're not just making your bag even more heavy so even if you don't like the style Louis Vuitton already has a lot of different styles so I guess not much versatility with this but it's completely okay because it does the job that I wanted to and that is to just carry my cards, my receipts, my coins but also be compact and not bulky in my mini bags so I think it's still worth it especially for the price that I got it as well. So the zip opens the wallet wide just like that so you are able to fit a wide range of small items whether that be your cards your coins and your receipts so the dimensions are 11 centimeters in width 8.5 centimeters in height and 2 centimeters in depth so it's very small very compact so it has this gold hardware and it has the Louis Vuitton engraving on there as well. So simple, so classic. If you can tell in the camera, I do have a bit of wear and tear just from it getting dirty, but you can't really avoid that much. I just have to clean it and maintain it. So when you open it up, it has two large compartments here so on each side there's three card slots you can't really see it properly sorry about that but there's three card slots on each side and in the middle there's just another compartment so there's quite a few compartments that you can Put your cards into which i love so this one is a made in france version and it's a bit overstuffed at the moment but i don't keep all my cards in here i switch between this and my key clay so they're currently my 
card holders at the moment so although I do love this wallet I will probably get an even more compact card holder just because I do want something a bit smaller especially for like my mini bags or for those occasions that I don't need a full-size wallet so is it worth it I absolutely think it's worth it just because it's compact it can fit anywhere it's cute and it fits everything that you would need I guess it depends on your preference are you more likely to carry more cards do you prefer a longer larger wallet or do you want something more compact that you can just fit your essentials but I do think this is worth it if you are trying to find something a bit more compact but can also carry a lot if you've watched my previous video I talk about my Louis Vuitton key clay and that one I use on a daily basis so I do reach for that one more than I do reach for this but but this is just convenient when I do want to carry a bit more cards with me and it's so cute I think it's a must-have if it does suit your lifestyle so that's it for this video guys if you enjoyed it or if it was helpful to you comment down below like the video let me know if you do have this item or you're thinking of getting it if this video helped you let me know in the comments like I said comment like subscribe and I'll see you again in another video